What's up guys? Welcome to SC Reefer. I'm Chris. I actually just got back from my local LFS to pick up two clownfish and one fire shrimp. This fire shrimp is one of the biggest shrimps I've ever seen. It's unbelievable. So they're being acclimated right now. And I'll show you what they look like. Look at the size of that fire shrimp. This camera does not do it justice but that thing is huge so these guys are doing really really well they look super super healthy so I'm gonna acclimate these guys for about 30 minutes and introduce them into the tank now if you look back there I see I have this bubble anemone so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a tube I'm gonna try this I'm gonna get a tube put it into the water and put the clownfish into the tube, let them swim down into the anemone and see if they will host it. So we'll see what happens. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. All right, guys, welcome back. So this is my setup. As you can see, I just got a little clip. I got a siphoning tube that you use to clean the gravel. I put it on top of the rock. It's not touching the anemone. I am going to place the clownfish in the top, let them swim down, and let's just hope they host that anemone. We'll see what happens. We'll give it a shot. All the corals are looking really good, nice and healthy. Everything's looking great. I got some nice frags from Rico. They're doing really, really well. No complaints. Got my little hammer garden over here. There goes my Emperor Angelfish. He's doing really well also. He is not picking at any corals at all. And I also have a Corian Angelfish in here and he's not picking at corals either. I've had these Zoas here for the longest and they weren't opening. Thanks to Tristan at Tristan's Reef, he came over with his PAR meter, and we kind of got this under control here. But the fish have been in here for about 20 minutes. I'm going to give it another, maybe another five more minutes, and then we're going to try this little, this little plan of mine to see if it works. All right, guys, hold tight. All right, guys, I got to do this all by hand. Um, my son broke my tripod, so... I can't set it up, so I'm sorry if it's a little shaky. I'm going to grab one of these clownfish. And I'm going to place him in here. All right, he's in. Let's watch him. Let's see if he goes down. Looks like he's just sitting up there. Come on, buddy boy. Swim down. Let's see if he figures it out. All right, guys, so I put the second one in. It looks like they went straight to the bottom. Let's see if they host this anemone. All right, looks like they're getting a little more comfortable. They're settling down. There is a little opening at the bottom. I hope they just don't swim underneath and out, but we'll keep this on here and see how it goes. Hey guys, it looks like one got out, uh, but it looks like he's staying close. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, it looks like one of those, one clownfish looks like he's uh, in and out of the anemone. We'll just see how it goes. I'll let you guys know in future video if these guys hosted this thing or not. But it's time to put this gigantic fire shrimp in. Whoa. He is a big one. Come on, buddy boy. Oh, he doesn't want to let go of my hand. <laughs> there he is. This guy's huge. This guy's got to be about three inches.
Come on, go down to the bottom. And he's just hanging out toward the top. Beautiful. There he goes. There he goes, guys. Right to the bottom. Perfect. All right, I guess this guy's got to settle in as well. But guys, I'm going to end it here. Like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll definitely let you know if these clownfish um, hosted this anemone. All right, guys, take care. See you on the next one.